Hi everyone. Uh, now this is the second video. Uh, this is the video showing you how to do the graphite transfer. Okay. This is a technique we use. It's effectively how you copy and paste your drawings. Okay. Now I've got this original drawing. Um, I'm going to need it onto a bigger piece of paper. So I've got another piece of paper here. But, uh, okay. And what I need is like the original Escher image. I'm going to need the hand here, and then I'm going to need the hand again here like this, so it's actually the hand drawing the hand, okay? Now that's naturally not as hard to do um, as uh, you may think, okay? Now the first thing I need to do is turn this over and I need to cover this side in graphite, lead from your pencil, okay? Um, that creates my pasting block, okay? That's almost the ink that we will use to press onto the bigger piece of paper so that we can um, copy this drawing, okay? So I turn this over and I don't have to cover the entire thing. I want to cover where my hand is. And I only have to do this, okay? You have to shade it in. Use the side of your pencil. You don't have to press too hard. It doesn't have to be too dark, okay? But you're covering it over. Now, in school, we'd use graphite sticks because they're a lot easier to use and they're a lot darker. But we're at home, so we're using pencils. So what else may do? Okay, once you've covered the entire back, then we're ready for the next stage. Okay, so I'll do that, uh, and then I'll see you. Okay, Ta -da! here we go. I've covered the uh, entire back in uh, graphite. Okay, it doesn't have to be too dark like I've done here. It doesn't have to be too neat like I've done here. Now, if you're not sure if you've covered up the whole hand, you can hold it up to a window, and the light will shine through, uh, showing the hand on the other side. Okay, so you should be able to see if you've covered up the whole thing. Okay, now you need your second sheet of paper, and what I do is I turn it back to the original side, and I place the hand towards the top of this piece of paper, because I need space for the rest of the, ha rest of the hand on the other side, the other, the other bit I'm going to do. Now I hold this in place, and I draw over the dark lines on my hand. Okay, well as I do this, I am pressing the graphite that we drew on the other side off of the paper and onto the sheet of paper underneath. Okay, now again, I don't have to be too neat at this stage. I just have to get it down. I can always refine it and neaten it up later. Okay, so I'm just quickly doing this so that I can show you the result. Do -do -do. Try not to move the piece of paper too much, because if you do move it, then your final hand won't look right. Now, if I move it here, you can very lightly see that it's pushed the piece, uh, the, the graphite from the other side onto uh, the piece of paper below. Okay, and now we take our hand, we rotate it, and we place it down again. Now, I want to make sure that my, pens, my, my pen is going to be touching the wrist of this bit, and my pen is going to be touching the wrist of this bit, and I hold it in place, and I do the same thing. I draw over it again. Again, I don't have to be perfect at this stage. I just have to um, make sure that I'm getting those lines down. I can perfect them later. Um, and of course, you've got to make sure that you don't miss bits. Because if you do, it's going to be very hard to line it up again once you've moved the piece of paper. Okay, and if I take it off again, there we go. There is my hand drawing a hand. Now, it looks very light at the moment, but I can go over this now to neaten it up. Uh, and then we can look to get on with the shading. Okay, I'll do that as part of a third video, uh, which I'll also post on here. Okay, thanks very much.